Hey everyone, welcome to Talk of the Town. I'm your host, Jessa Jeremiah. We have an awesome show for you today. We are here checking with our news partner, Dr. Schaefer, who joins us from Spring Creek Family Chiropractic. And I'm so glad you're here, perfect timing. It's back to school time already. I can't believe it. Yeah. The summer goes so quickly. But you're the perfect person to give <laughs> us some great tips on, you know, for parents, how to keep kids healthy and, you know, through the school year without any, hopefully any issues. So welcome for starters. Thank you. We're so glad to have you. So start us off with some basic tips for, you know, parents at home that are starting to send their kids back to school. What kind of tips can you give them? Well, primarily make sure your child has a fully functioning nervous system. Chiropractors are trained in looking at that and it's the foundation for health. Absolutely. Secondly, definitely make sure they're getting enough sleep. Uh, kids under 10 need 10 to 11 hours of sleep a night. Kids over 10 need eight and a half to nine and a half. So really make sure that they're getting that adequate sleep and electronics, I know it's tough, but electronics need to be removed from the room to have the best sleep quality. And it's important to know that um, every hour of sleep you get before midnight is worth two hours of sleep after midnight. So it's really important to get that sleep before midnight so you actually get a better quality sleep. Oh my gosh, I have to change my whole <laughs> life, okay. <laughs> but the other, the other thing would be uh, nutrition. Make sure that they're getting a good breakfast. You know, a lot of times they'll eat some OJ, some cereal and some toast. Well, you just spiked your blood sugar, nine o'clock comes around, blood sugar crashes and all of a sudden these kids are being diagnosed with behavioral issues when it's a blood sugar issue. So good fats and good healthy foods for breakfast is really important. Absolutely and the more I talk to you the more amazed I am <laughs> at you know just how things like that really affect your overall health and things like diet. You know you talked to us about juicing uh, one show you were here and just it's it's just fascinating. So um, obviously you're you're coming from a chiropractic uh, background. So let's kind of layer that in. How does chiropractic care help kids through the school year? What can we do to help prevent some of these things? Right. Well, focus on, I want, parents should really focus on last year. Look at how their kids acted. How was their attention? How was their, you know, their grades? How, how was their attitude? Right. There's, there's a lot of things that parents want to look at that. And then also look at their attendance. Were they sick more often? Were they seeming to get even the summer colds that I'm seeing some kids come in with now? How is their body adapting? A lot of parents feel that, you know, there's, there's something that their child can improve on and they've felt that they've really tried a lot of things until they find chiropractic and then they just watch their child excel, which is really neat to see. Yeah, it's all connected, right? And it's right. just so interesting uh, what a huge impact it can have on your overall feeling and well-being and, and all that stuff because it, everything that you do is connected and mm -hmm. that's what I keep learning from you, so it's great. <laughs> uh, so let's talk about keeping kids on a healthy track. So. You know, obviously, as parents, people, you know, at home are probably coming up with ways to keep kids on track. So is there any kind of reward system that you recommend to help do that? So it's really important. It, if you think of kids, say that like you get straight A's or you get a really good report card and parents say, let's go get pizza and ice cream and all this other stuff. Or you maybe don't get the best report card and you don't get to get that pizza and ice cream. We're using this reward and punishment system creating now in the adult population emotional eaters. So we need to stop connecting food with reward and punishment. So when kids are doing those things, maybe they want to go to a movie with their friends or they want to get a haircut or a new outfit. Do something like that to stop that, that cycle of emotional eating that then turns into, as adults, you have a good week at work, so how do you celebrate? It's probably going to be a food or you have a really bad week same thing's gonna happen. Absolutely, and so focusing on the good. So right. how can parents help kids focus on the good events that happen throughout the day? One of the coolest things is the conversation that you get to have at home that night. You know, as adults, the, it's really easy to focus on what went wrong, all the things that just were terrible in your day, but when your kids get home and you say, what went well today? What were you grateful for today? Who did you help today? Who helped you? What did you learn? Those kind of things changes the shift of what they're focusing on and what we focus on expands. So focus on the good things and your kids will too. And what about balancing activities? So we need to have a healthy balance. Do you right. have any tips for doing that? It's important to organize them without overwhelming them. Kids today are in sport after meeting after event every single night yeah. and then they don't get home, they can't get homework done and then they're not getting to sleep till late. So it's really important to, to as a family, sit down and understand what your focus is, what your, what your values are as a family and make sure that you have that adequate time for your kids to do homework, still play their sports, still get outside but maintain a healthy balance with Absolutely. that. Absolutely. And it goes so fast, we almost have to go. We've got like 15 <laughs> seconds, but give me really quick for back to school backpack safety tips real quick. 
padded straps, we've got to make sure they're on both shoulders, no more than 10%. So if your child's 100 pounds, 10 pounds should be in that backpack, no more. Awesome. Thank you so much for our You're back welcome. to school tips, Dr. Marsha from Spring Creek Family Chiropractic. We appreciate it very much. All right, so we've got some more health tips coming up after this, but it's actually for your pets. So stick around, we'll be right back.